star. A star is type of astronomical object consisting of a luminous superheat of plasma held together by its own gravity. The nearest star to Earth is the Sun. Many other stars are visible to the naked eye from Earth during the night, appearing as a multitude of fixed luminous points in the sky due to their immense distance from Earth. Historically, the most prominent star were grouped into constellation and asteroids, the brightest of which gained proper names. Astronomers have assembled star catalog that identify the now star and provide standardized stellar designation. However, most of the estimated 300 sextillion stars in the universe are visible to the naked eye from Earth, including a star outside our galaxy, the Milky Way. at least a portion of its life. A star sent with the thermonuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium in its core, releasing energy that traverses the star interior and then radiates into outer space. Almost all naturally occurring elements heavier than helium are created by stellar nucleosynthesis during the star lifetime, and for some stars by supernova nucleosynthesis when it explodes. Near the end of its life, a star can also contain degenerate matter. Astronomers can determine the mass, age, meta quality, or chemical composition, and many other properties of star by observing its motion through space, its luminosity, and spectrum respectively. The total mass of a star is the main factor that determines its evolution and eventual fate. Other characteristics of star, including diameter and temperature, change over its life, while the star environment affects its rotation and movement. A plot of the temperature of many stars against their luminosities produce a pilot known as a Hertz surplus until the Russell diagram. Plotting a particular star on the diagram allows the egg and evolutionary state of the star to be determined. There are two types, types of star, namely pseudo star and real star. A pseudo star is a celestial body that gets light from surrounding a celestial body. If it's seen from Earth, it will look like a small point whose light is relativity stable or not unique. But actually, it is a planet because if you see it using a telescope with magnification several times, it will appear in the form of a large circle like a planet. Whereas the real star is a celestial object that does produce its own light through a thermonuclear reaction in its core. So it created a very large and glowing energy so that it emits very bright light. Maybe for more ordinary people, it is still difficult to distinguish between pseudo star or planets and real star. Here are some tips to distinguish between planets or and star. One, like planet is brighter than star. Two, star-like process. Well, the planet doesn't flicker. Three, planet's motion changes with star. Planet like is brighter than star. Generally true, but not all planets are brighter than star. Planets that can be seen with the naked eye are the planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Planets Venus, Mars, and Jupiter are very bright and striking, really brighter than the brighter star, like the Sirius star in the constellation Venus Major and Canopus in the constellation Salini. Well, Saturn brightness is equivalent to an ordinary star. It is rather difficult 
to distinguish from other stars just by looking brightness. Mercury is rather difficult to observe because it's very close to the sun. Practically, Mercury can only be observed before the sun rises or sets with a short time interval with made of the brightness, but must compete with the sun. I myself have never seen Mercury directly. Other planets, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto cannot be seen with the naked eye. A telescope is needed and, and for brightness is made for difficult to find it. Starlight fossils for planets do not flicker. This statement is true because the starlight is so far away that the starlight reaches the earth is weak enough so that the turbulence of the earth atmosphere causes it to flicker. The explanation is not entirely true. In a star and planet Mars, the brightness is almost the same. Even the planet Saturn is weaker. But the serious star is drinking while the planet Saturn and Mars are not. What is semi diameter? Semi diameter root length is the this shape seen from the Earth. For example, the now the Moon and the Sun are the largest semi diameter celestial object because. They look like sprays or this star with a dead long distance make it practically not having a semi diameter. Seen with the largest telescope, the star still look like a coin. The Hasbro until Russell diagram is a diagram of the relationship between star luminosity and spectrum class or surface temperature. This diagram is the most important diagram for astronomers in an effort to study star evolution. 1. Spectrum class O. Blue. Temperature 30,000 K. K feature. The atmosphere line appears very little coniged helium line. The ionized hydrogen line is twice. The ionized silicon line is the three times, and the other atomic lines are ionized several times, but are weak. The hydrogen line is also visible, but weak. Example: Zeta Pupi star, Rigor, Ten Lacerta, and Alita. Two spectrum press B. Please white temperature. 11,000 until 30,000 K. K features natural helium lens, ones and twists, ionized silicon lens, and ionized oxygen lens are visible. The hydrogen lens is clearer than class O. Example, alnilar 3. Spectrum class A. White color. Temperature. 7500 until 11000 K. K feature the hydrogen lens look very strong. The magnesium, silicon, iron, and ionized calcium lines all begin to appear. The neutral metal lines look weak. Example Star of Sirius, Vega, Altair, Fumalhot, and Deni. Four. Spectrum class F Yellowish white temperature 6000 until 7500 K K feature The hydrogen lines look weaker than class A But it's still clear Calcium, iron, and chromium lines were ionized ones and also iron lines and natural Chromium and other metal lines began to appear. Example: Star Canopus, Wesen, Polaris, and Procyon.